today in CorelDRAW we're going to be discussing kerning and letting. Kerning is the distance between two letters or two words and letting is the distance between t two lines or more than two lines. Uh, in CorelDRAW they call it line spacing. The original term for that was letting and that dated back to when we handset type and they would actually have pieces of lead that you would put between all the different letters or lines of letters and increase or decrease the distance between those lines. So for this purpose we're going to just type in some text and we'll come up here and we'll make that a little bit larger so you can see it better and we will z, z for to get the uh, zoom there we go now we'll come back here now if you see here the distance between this D and E is significantly more than this C and D that's called machine kerning so in order to change this, first thing we need to do is set the distance, the nudge distance. And in this case, we're going to delete that 0, take it to 0, 1, 0, 0.01. Now we'll come over here to the nudge. Well, that's a shape tool, excuse me. And I like this, and when I do, you'll see the little square boxes underneath each letter. That means uh, those are handles that you can um, control each letter with. So I've selected A, B, and C, three of them, and then I'm going to just click on my left arrow. Can you see how that moved over? Now also, you can see here, I want to move that just a little closer between the D and the E, so I'll move the right arrow. See that? Now, if I needed to separate ABC, I would come up here and then deselect it. And now I'm going to come over here. Let's say we want to separate it by a half inch, so that'd be that'd be point five. Just going to hit five. There we go. So point five of an inch. Highlight your text. Come over to your shape tool. Grab either way. Either way you want to do it. Actually, we need four of them. If I want to, if I want to make this a space here, and I move to the space. It's too much. Come back. Do the same thing. Come over here. Say you only want um, 0.25. That's now it's 0.25. So come over here. Get our shape tool. Do the same thing. Right click over. That's 0.25. That's a quarter inch. And the same thing. We can go down with it. And go up with it, go back in, and that gives you some real creative things to do with that. Okay, now we'll discuss letting. So we'll do the same thing. Make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. And then we'll just create another line of text. We're going to make that a little smaller so you can see what's going on. Drag it back. Okay, there. Now, it's set at a default of 100. But if I want more, just click on this up arrow 
and that will separate everything further. If I want it tighter, like that. Now if I had words, so give the space, type some more stuff in there. Here's a space. Okay, now we have the distance between. Let me move that over. Now we have distance between, consider that's a word and that's a word. Come over here to word spacing. And only those, those words are being separated. All the letters are staying the same. And again, if you, if you say, oh gee, oh gee, HG has too much spacing between it. So just come up your shape tool again or you could shortcut F10 highlight those oops you know what we're going to be at a quarter inch well let me just show you what happens that's way over okay so we need to adjust that we are going to come up here we're going to say we just want 0.01 And I'll come back here, grab the shape tool. I'm just going to hit F10. Okay. Come back here, hit the shape tool. Highlight the ones that you want. And give it that little bit of a nudge to the left. Let's say that looks like too much spacing. You can grab the whole word. Nice word. And take it where you want to be. Same thing, if you wanted to, you could take a whole line, up and down keys, or a whole line, and move it over that way. So in this way you can, you can just really, really uh, position text exactly where you want it to be. All right. Some basics, corral draw. Hope this helps. Just before I sign off, I wanted to explain what these um, two little icons mean. When you have the shape tool, if you notice. If they're all selected, if your whole, call it this paragraph is selected, you just have your boundary boxes. But if we click on your shape tool, then two more icons pop up. This one on the right is going to spread everything out. And the one on the bottom will spread it out this way. So that's another way of... Um, changing the effect of your uh, of your text. Well, I don't want this video to get too long, so that's some basics. There's tons of things to go over in, in uh, Corel Draw with, with um, your text, but uh, it's a good start. All right.